Let's solve problem number 5 on asymptotic notations. Here is the problem. Consider the following functions. f1 is equal to 10 power n. f2 is equal to n power log n. And f3 is equal to n power square root of n. Which of the following options arranges the functions in the increasing order of asymptotic growth rate? These are all the options available to us. We need to identify the correct option out of these options. In order to find the correct option, we need to compare these functions because we have been told to arrange the functions in the increasing order of asymptotic growth rate. Means we need to arrange these functions in increasing order of asymptotic growth rate. For this, we need to compare these functions. Now, let's try to solve this problem by comparing these functions two at a time. Let's dive into the solution. Here we have f1 equal to 10 to the power n, f2 equal to n power log n, and f3 equal to n power square root of n. Now we need to compare two functions at a time. This will allow us to arrange these functions in increasing order of asymptotic growth rate. Let's compare f2 and f3 first. As we can observe, in these two functions, the bases are same. Here we can observe the powers are different, but the bases are same. And comparing these type of functions is always easy. I told this in the last lecture that it is easy to compare the functions with same bases or same powers. Here we have the functions with same bases. Therefore, we can compare these two functions first. Now, let's compare f2 and f3. What is the relationship between these two functions? We know we have these functions, n power log n and n power square root of n. Now, let's compare these functions. We can compare these functions by comparing their powers because the bases are already same. Here we have log n and here we have square root of n. We know square root of n is the polynomial function. We can rewrite this as n power 1 by 2. n power constant represents the polynomial function. Therefore, this is the polynomial function. Now, what about this function? This is the logarithmic function. We know what is the relationship between a polynomial function and a logarithmic function. The growth rate of the polynomial function is always greater than the growth rate of the logarithmic function. Therefore, the relationship between these two functions is clear. Square root of n is greater than log n. And from this, we can conclude that n power square root of n is also greater than n power log n. And therefore, we can say that f2, which is n power log n, is less than f3, which is n power square root of n. So, this is the relationship between f2 and f3. f2 is less than f3 or we can say f3 is greater than f2. Now, what about f1? We can compare f1 with f2 or we can compare f1 with f3. We can observe that both f1 and f2 are conflicting functions. We can see the bases are different and the powers are also different. Similarly, both f1 and f3 are also conflicting functions. The bases are different and the powers are also different. We can compare f1 with f2 or f1 with f3. We can choose any of them. I am going to compare f1 with f3. You can compare f1 with f2. It is up to you. So now let's compare f1 and f3. We know f1 is 10 power n and f3 is n power square root of n. Let's compare these two functions by taking logarithm on both sides. This will allow us to simplify these functions and we can easily compare these functions. I told you already in the last presentation that if we want to compare the conflicting functions, then we need to take logarithm on both the functions. So, we need to apply logarithm to these two functions. 
let's apply log base 10 to these two functions because here we have the constant as 10. After applying log base 10, we will get log 10 power n base 10 in the left hand side and log n power square root of n base 10 in the right hand side. Now we can observe here we have log 10 power n base 10. This can be rewritten as n times log 10 base 10. This is from the property of the logarithm. I have explained this many times. Log a power b base c is same as b times log a base c. So we can rewrite this as n times log 10 base 10. Similarly, we can rewrite log n power square root of n base 10 as square root of n times log n base 10. I have applied the same property of logarithm here as well. So with this, now we have these two forms of these two functions. Can we further simplify these two functions? We can simplify this function log 10 base 10 is equal to 1. So this can be written as n times 1 or simply n. Now what about this function? We cannot further simplify this. So we can write square root of n log n base 10 here. Now we need to compare these two functions. Still I would say comparing these two functions is not straightforward. In order to simplify the comparison, let's rewrite n as square root of n times square root of n. The reason is that we have square root of n already in the right hand side. We can cancel square root of n from both the sides and in this way we would be left with log n base 10 in the right hand side. And in the left hand side we will be left with only one square root of n. Therefore the comparison becomes simple. So now, let's write square root of n log n base 10 here. Now we can cancel square root of n from both the sides and we will be left with square root of n in the left hand side and log n base 10 in the right hand side. Now the comparison is easy. Here we have square root of n. This means we have the polynomial function. And here we have log n base 10. This means we have the logarithmic function. We already know what is the relationship between a polynomial function and a logarithmic function? The growth rate of the polynomial function is greater than the growth rate of the logarithmic function. And hence we can conclude that f1 is greater than f3. These are the simplified forms of f1 and f3. Square root of n is the simplified form of f1. And log n base 10 is the simplified form of f3. Clearly, f1 is greater than f3. This is the relationship between f1 and f3. From this, we have obtained f1 greater than f3 and we have already obtained f3 greater than f2. So, we can say that f1 is greater than f3 and f3 is greater than f2. This is the relationship between these three functions that we have obtained. In the question, we have been told to arrange these functions in increasing order of asymptotic growth rate. But we have arranged these functions in decreasing order of asymptotic growth rate. To arrange these functions in increasing order of asymptotic growth rate, we need to write f2 first, then f3 and then f1. The relationship will be f2 less than f3 less than f1. This is the final result so obtained. So we can say that option D is the correct option. This is the correct sequence F2, F3 and then F1. This is the increasing order of asymptotic growth rate of these three functions. So with this, we are done with this problem and we are done with this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.